Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Ty, and welcome to a very random video. So basically, I went to the Lego store. When I walked through the doors and checked out the pick-a-brick wall, there were a bunch of these cardboard boxes laying on the ground. So I asked one of the employees what happened here. And as the dude was explaining, I was taking a look into the box and I saw that there were tons of these really super dope rare pieces. So the dude basically explained, yo, we got a fresh delivery today. So basically, I got a total of five of these pick-a-brick cups. If you open the dictionary and look up impulse buyer, there were probably literally be a picture of me that would pop up. So basically, I bought all these pieces, right? But I wanted to find out a way to uh, kind of like make a video out of this because figured why not? I usually don't do haul videos. So why not just make this a tip video and uh, teach you guys some tips about pick a brick. Basically, my plan is to give you my tips on how to get good pieces and what pieces you should look for at the pick a brick wall. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Now, I do apologize for the slightly clickbait title, but I'm going to get straight to the point and tell you what the best secret is. Basically, stay in touch with your nearest LEGO store and understand and get to know when fresh deliveries come in. Literally, the day the fresh delivery comes in is when everyone's going to flock and try to get those spicy pieces that are super rare. Basically, when you walk into the LEGO store and you see the pick-a-brick wall, those are basically the scraps. You don't realize it, but those are just the leftover pieces that nobody wants. I know it's cool, LEGO sometimes offer some really great parts at the pick a brick wall but most of the time they're just the same pieces that you always see those pieces that you just look at and then you don't really you don't pay any attention to them they're just like those pieces that seem to always be there you can call specifically one of the employees but just ask them when their next delivery is coming in in my case i believe the lego store next to my place gets deliveries every friday morning so now when i go to the lego store i'm gonna know to come on a friday morning or something like that Another tip for pick a brick. Now, this is super nerdy. I'm not one of these people that do that, but I do know a lot of people who do it. But basically, just try to stuff as much Lego as you can. Like legit, that's actually that's actually the tip. Look at this video right here. See what this dude's doing? He's taking all of these pieces and he's specifically ordering them in the cup. So, I mean, if you really want to save money, then go ahead. But for me, honestly, I'm not gonna, I mean, time is money, so I'm not gonna waste my time trying to stuff like an extra 15 cents that I can save of Lego. But if you want to, go ahead. I'm not dissing this. I think this is actually a very, very soulful tip. So take this to heart. Seriously, actually pretty cool what people have done. I heard that you can get way more pieces. I was kind of lying about the 15 cents, by the way. But you can get way more pieces if you actually put time into uh, ordering stuff. For example, the very bottom rim is pretty small. But basically, in that bottom rim, put all the small pieces anything over a two by two is generally a little bit too big but I would recommend putting items that are like one by one spaces and then order your way up to the very top and this last I mean I don't know is this a bad word this nipple thingy at the very top put some smaller pieces in there as well you can even put something as much as a four by four plate you can stack four by four plates whatever who cares whatever's there another tip just try to avoid getting the big pieces unless you really need them. Generally, when I go to pick a brick, I target the pieces that are generally like a 2x2 two two or smaller brick or plate. If it's a big plate like this, like an 8x8, eight eight, then yeah, sure, you can plop a few of those in. But if the case comes when they're very big, the pieces are very big. For example, window frames, you can put pieces inside of them. Now with the big plates, I honestly don't really do this because it's such a pain to take apart. But you can just stick them together, just deal with the pain later I guess you can say I mean you save money so who cares before you even start filling your cup up ask the front desk if they have tape if they have tape then you can overfill your cup a little bit it's okay at least my Lego store lets me do that they're chill if it goes like one centimeter above the rim they honestly don't really give a crap they're just working there to get college money but if you're going to like a Beverly Hills Lego where people are legitimately working there to actually abide by policy rules they can be kind of snooby I have been at some where they tell me it has to snap in place the lid has to connect some people freak out about how many pieces they can put into their cup when in reality you can literally put a bunch more if you just ask a simple question that only takes five seconds so do the right thing 
and do that. So there you go guys, that was the video. This is definitely like probably the most random video on my channel, but hopefully you got some good pick a brick tips and hopefully you can also think of some mock ideas I can use from these pieces in my build. So let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see. Let's hope for the best. So catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and keep on building. Oh,